That's two partners you lost. Your partner died. Ah, 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 Dude, that is the best dead scene ever. No. That is the best. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Thank you very, 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 Thanks for the money, dummies. Am I poison? Why am I toxic? Fuck everyone else. Stop supporting these retarded, worthless betas. Look here! Look! Things to try to get public opinion, yet people are taking it like, Oh, Phil, this is going to determine what he does. Wait a minute. Phil didn't go off of what it said on the poll. He's not paying attention. And that's not the case at all. Okay? It's not. Um, I just don't understand why people think that. You know, it was never promised that I would, you know, live or die by a poll that I randomly posted up on my Twitter in the middle of the night. So, <clears throat> see what I mean? So, I don't know, man. Like, some people just, I think, take shit too seriously. And I don't. All day, trolls just drill me all day, all day. But for reasons not completely understood by scientists, gout sufferers retain too much in their body. The excess uric acid is carried by the bloodstream throughout the body and settles in the joints. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hitman 2. Unlike the last Hitman game a couple years ago, this one is not episodic. They decided to actually release the whole game at once. Which is thumbs up for me because that was my one major criticism of this game several years ago. So, of course I accept the privacy policy. How dare you? Well, holy crap. Shout out to Tono89, who just did a 6,000 bit cheer. Holy crap, thank you very much, Tono, for that contribution. That's very generous of you. He says, man, I love your content. Julian! I don't know where I fell like a... ...highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow... Ah, uh, man. As you can see, sadly, the... The... Objective is blocked by my my uh, overlay bar, so I'm gonna just ditch the overlay bar. Here we go. Don't really need it anyway. Um, so just like the last game, the frame rate is variable. You guys are seeing 30 frames, so that's what I'm broadcasting at. But it's basically right now around, I say probably 40 frames. Sometimes when I'm, I'm not in the grass, now it's 60 frames. So it's a variable frame rate. But for Hitman, you don't need 60 frames. I'm just gonna do it at 30 frames, guys. Honestly, it'll probably look better for you guys because it won't be a soda can. Oh boy. You probably throw it for distraction purposes, I bet. I just want to see if there's anything else I could do on the outside. Clearly, he has an axe to grind with Providence. Big enough to surround himself with murderers and terrorists. Big enough not to care who gets hurt in the process. He believes he's doing the right thing, I suppose. Just like everyone else. Hmm. I got a chloroform... Uh... A chloroform flask. Yeah, or canister. Renard's cell has obtained a large canister of chloroform, a powerful sedative. It seems likely they're in New Zealand to per perpetrate a kidnapping. Okay. Oh. Might be in there. Let's check the other stuff out first. Look for more intel. 47. That computer. See if you can't access it. I don't think she drank the whiskey, did she?
Da. Didn't know it was that important to you, Austin. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right. You and Sean. Bet the house. Talk Got to her. Me. Well done, forty-seven. Now get off the property. Let me let me save, and then I'll see if I can leave by like jumping over this balcony here. T DSP T post counter cheers to put apple cider vinegar in her water. That'll show her what the hell. I don't know about that. And hungry turkey cheered and said the bitch is done. A few moments later. Blunt trauma. What? Why did I just get a fucking trophy? I have no idea. I just got a trophy. Hmm. No way to get. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, I just don't remember. And I remember there was it was you were sneaking into a mansion of a gangster because you were trying to assassinate a gangster, and he had bodyguards all over the mansion. And I think one of the ways you could sneak in is you could dress up like the chef, and you could poison the guy's food, or you could dress up like one of the bodyguards and sneak around and try to get into the guy's room and strangle him or toss him over a ledge. Like, there were many ways that you could kill this gangster guy who was hiding out inside. 47. Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. Yes, the that movie had Sinbad in it, yes. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Yeah, gonna kill the father and the daughter. Yeah, watch out, watch out! I need the money. Greed is massively strong. Oh my god! <laughs> So mission two, let's take a look here. Objectives. Two targets, the father and the son, and the daughter, I said the son. Wow, the father's all fucked up, look his face all burnt and shit. What happened? Any method, any disguise. Okay. Come here, sabotage your car, make it blow up. The make it go off the track. No, I have a mascot at bag check. Listening. That opens a different door. Delgado. How do I see what's in my inventory? Derek Expedinus's ID card. <clears throat> the picture makes him look like a cartoony scientist. So I could probably use this to get Derek McGinnis killed by the robot, right? <clears throat> what if I could tell him I want another I want another demonstration and then put his picture in and have it kill him? I'm ready for another demonstration, Mr. Knox. Great, Ted. Great. I knew you were just playing hard to get. Here we go. Let's do it. Yeah, good shit. <laughs> Use his only android to kill him. <clears throat> nice. Enter the car. Oh, yeah? You got a fast car. That was considered trespassing. But I ended up getting a, a, a challenge for it. Sabotage the engine of the expo car. 
I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if, the, if I don't think that she's gonna come in here yet. I guess I wasn't supposed to go up there. Alright, he's not going after me. That's good. <clears throat> uh, DSP t post counter, you're asking the wrong person about unbans. I'm playing a game. Hey, what are you doing? This area is off limits. Stay right there. I'm serious. Hey, stop. Please. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Hey, you see him? Come on, guys. Let's work as a unit here. This is a restrict stop. 328 a.m. Vicious to blend in. We know what he can do. It's fair if he comes back. He's up till then. That was lucky. Yeah, I'm compromised. I need to get into a different outfit. Now I'm okay. Yep. Well, if I need to distract them, there's stuff I can... Like, in the game, but I'm gonna be honest, like, the last game, it was a lot easier to try to figure out basic ways to do missions and then execute them. In this game, it's so fucking complicated because this, this is the first major map is insanely huge. And at any time, there's a million ways to do it, and there's always people walking around corners and shit. It's making it a lot more fucking complicated to enjoy it. Because at any moment, I, oh, I've hatched a plan. I'll disguise myself as a waiter and maybe I'll, you know, I'll poison a drink or something. Oh, no, random dude comes around the corner and fucking sees it. Ugh. <clears throat> <laughs> you serious? Worthless specimen, get that ass banned.